So this MRI is one of the most powerful diagnostic tools in modern medicine, and it's right here in Auburn. We've created uh, partnerships with industry, medicine, and government, and we want to be a resource, not only with researchers on the Auburn faculty, but researchers in the uh, region, nation, and world. If we can find something that can be objectively measured that says, yes, this person has PTSD, that opens the door to, to treatment. People have proposed different treatments for PTSD, but it's difficult to tell how well they work. If we can come up with a biomarker or some way to tell objectively how much PTSD somebody has or whether they have it or not, you know, they'll be able to, to measure these treatments, see which one works better than others, ultimately help these, uh, these people. Actually, MRI images the protons that are in the nuclei of hydrogen atoms. And those act like little bar magnets, but normally you can't measure the magnetic field generated by all these little bar magnets. But where you're, when you're in an MRI scanner, you're in the presence of a, of a very strong magnetic field, about three tesla. One tesla is the strength they use in junkyards to pick up cards. And so when you're in the MRI scanner, all these protons, they all line up. So then your body does have a measurable magnetic field.